Why hello friends and uh, fellow YouTube video watchers. This is my first video 2018, so welcome to, to the new year. And just a warning that I'm back to talking about politics in this video. So if you don't like me talking about politics, then you can go ahead and click the, uh, the X button now and go away. Now, for everybody else, um, again, greetings. Uh, today, I was reading one of my favorite political blogs called The Daily Haymaker. And if you do not know, The Daily Haymaker is a blog uh, based out of Moore County, North Carolina. And this blog is a conservative blog. It is very anti-establishment, very pro-Tea Party, very anti-Raleigh, uh, inside the Raleigh belt line. Very anti that, too. Uh, in The Daily Haymaker, I, I usually agree with what the author, Brant Clifton, has to say. <clears throat> uh, today, he wrote a piece, or I think a couple days ago, and, you know, usually I'll check a couple times a week, because sometimes uh, Brant will post, like, five entries a day, and then he you won't see another entry for a week. <laughs> and then sometimes I'll post one entry a day. He's just different frequency. Hey, it's his blog. He can do whatever he wants, right? Um, today, however, I was reading a piece titled, Dude, Where's My Website? Which is based on the uh, the year the movie came out back in the year 2000 called Dude, Where's My Car? It's a very, very good comedy. I highly recommend it. <clears throat> but I'm not here to really talk about movies now. Let's talk about politics. So it's the, the piece is titled, Dude, Where's My Website? Okay, And he's referring to the North Carolina Republican Party website. And in this piece, he says that basically um, <clears throat> he can't, couldn't find any. He clicked on events, couldn't find any events. And then he used Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay, how many events are there within 100 miles North Carolina? Raleigh, North Carolina. And he reported zero. And another thing, he couldn't find any names of elected officials, any of the party officers, any of the district chairmen, none of that. <clears throat> so he posts this piece, and I'll say um, <clears throat> generally he's pretty accurate, but I will say that I actually looked at the website back around Thanksgiving time. And during that time, um, and even now, I will tell you something really good about the website is that it has the most current edition of the plan of organization as well as the platform. The most current edition being from the 2017 um, state convention. Because uh, if, if you go back to last year's chairman's race between the incumbent Robin Hayes, who was reelected, um, back in June, and his term is not up until 2019, okay, Robin Hayes versus Jim Womack, uh, the challenger, uh, the challenger, uh, Mr. Womack, <clears throat> constantly attacked, rightfully so, Robin Hayes on the North Carolina Republican Party website because the website <laughs> was not up to date. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, <clears throat> um, back uh, last summer, or yeah, last spring, right before the uh, convention, uh, when you went on the website, you had information from 2013. <laughs> that was the most recent year that you, you could get the planned organization and the platform. Okay, so one good thing that has changed is that yes, we now have the most recent plan of, or plan of organization, excuse me, and platform. Okay, um, <clears throat> the one thing now I will say is that Dallas Woodhouse put out a statement. Um, I don't know it verbatim, but basically he said, he responded on the blog, said, we're in the middle of launching a brand new website, and we're actually going to have, um, this is going to be connected. The county websites are also the county uh, Republican parties in North Carolina. Their websites, like New Hanover, Pitt, Wake, etc., 
there are a hundred counties. <laughs> I could probably name them all, but it'd probably be, this would probably be a 45 minute video. <laughs> anyway, uh, those uh, county websites are going to be on the party website, according to what Mr. Woodhouse said. Um, <clears throat> now, there was a lot of other negative comments, you know, just kind of, well, the NCGOP leadership is bad and blah, blah, blah. And I don't want to, you know, send them another solitary cent. They're a corrupt organization. And listen, here's the, here's, here's the truth of the matter is, um, I haven't been a fan of some of Hayes and Woodhouse's antics over the years. Um, but, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. <clears throat> At the end of the day, the North Carolina Republican Party is millions of miles better than the Republican Party of Florida. Because in the North Carolina Republican Party, you can get as in, you can get as involved as you want in the organization. Down here in Florida, you cannot. It is so elitist. I mean, my goodness, I was at a I was at a quarterly meeting, uh, yeah, last year, uh, no, 2016, excuse me, <clears throat> about two years ago, and I, uh, I, you know, went over and said, I saw the district chair, I think it was with the Gainesville area, and I said, hey, how you doing? And he just looked at me, like, unfortunately, a lot of people here in Florida are so mean, they just look at you kind of stare, like, hmm, hi, how you doing? And, you're, and he's like, hmm. So, you know, I can go, I've already talked about the many big differences between North Carolina and Florida politics and a lot of other things. I'm not going to rehash that again, but look, <clears throat> convention season is coming up, okay? Here's the bottom line. If you want to be start being active in the North Carolina Republican Party, or maybe you left the party and want to reactivate yourself, which is a beautiful thing, too, <clears throat> you first have to... Um, Register as a Republican by June, excuse me, <laughs> not June, January, uh, I believe it's the 30th or 31st, whatever is the last day in January, you have to actually go down to your Board of, edu board of, blah, 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 board of Elections office and uh, do the, uh, you might even be able to do it online, but yeah, you just have to change your voter registration Republican through the, through your county board of elections office. Um, remember, this is North Carolina rules now. We're not talking about Florida anymore. <laughs> Thank God I'll be out of here in like four months, right? <laughs> anyway, um, so that's what you want to do. Okay, another thing too is, 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 is don't rely on the state website for all your information. Uh, the most effective way of knowing when conventions are going to happen. Um, your first grade your precinct meetings, um, those are generally, um, a lot of counties will have the precinct meetings on the same day as the county convention, because let's face it, it's hard enough getting, <laughs> getting people out to a county convention. <laughs> uh, you know, then you have a precinct meeting too. It's like, oh my gosh, all these dates and it's springtime and, you know, you have kids that have to go to softball and baseball. Okay. So yeah, you have your precinct meetings. Okay. And your county convention. Best thing I can tell you is uh, get to know your county chairman and ask them for this information. Um, also, uh, go on Facebook and if you get, I hope your county party has a Facebook page. So make sure you uh, like the county party Facebook page, whatever county that is, whether it's Harnett or Nash or uh, Perquimans or you know, <laughs> uh, and the other ninety-seven counties. Um, so yeah, just be on the lookout for that. District conventions, um, again, you know, find out who your district convention, your dis district chairman is. A lot of times your county chairman, they should help you with that too. Um, and also, you like the congressional district page, which like uh, NC 3rd Congressional District, NC 9th Congressional Districts. Some of these pages are, you have to join um, you have to click the join button and mo nine times out of 10, they'll approve you. Um, that sort of thing. And a lot of times I'll have likes pages too, but ultimately at the end of the day, it is your responsibility as far as knowing when the county district and state conventions are. Okay. Do not rely solely on what the state GOP 
puts out. Get yourself organized. <laughs> if you, you want to be like me, <laughs> uh, heck, like, you, you know, you should like all 100 counties, county Republican parties in North Carolina, and like all 13 uh, congressional districts, too, and all that good stuff. Um, and then keep track of all of them. And when they have their conventions and go to as many as you can, because these are just awesome, awesome, fun, wonderful events that you should attend. Now, in 2018, the even number of years are not as exciting as the odd number of years because, uh, especially this year, um, <clears throat> See, in 2017, then 2019, you're going to have your officer elections, your chairman's raises for the state, the county, the district, who, 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 who wants to be on executive committee. And then, of course, the presidential election years are probably the one of the best years, too, um, because that's when you have your national committee man, national committee woman, your delegates to the, um, the North Carolina, uh, you know, your delegates to the National GOP Convention, okay? Oh, and also, uh, you could see, hey, uh, you know, one of the things that I really want to do is um, is go to the National Convention, but I also really want to be on the Rules Committee, too. So that's something that really um, I'd like to uh, do. And you, you could have an opportunity to... Um, be on the rules committee, the platform committee. Um, you know, this is also on the state level too. Of course, it's a lot easier on the state level because these platform resolutions, plan organization, all those are dealt on, dealt with on a congressional district basis. Of course, national is state by state <clears throat> sort of thing too. So look, <clears throat> I just want to give my. Uh, <laughs> My two cents on the whole, the Daily Haymaker piece about, dude, where's my website? And just know that, um, well, there's an alternative to the website, too. It's called Facebook. Okay? Yeah, go and like the county, uh, you know, the county GOP. Make sure your county GOP has a Facebook page if they don't. Okay? And if they do, like them and keep track of them. At least on daily, well, not, not a daily basis, but a weekly basis, okay? So anyway, I am the conservative pelican. Time to fly away.